you need some source of continued productivity growth to keep, uh, to keep the economy expanding. So Romer's insight was to say, new ideas build on old ideas, expand this public stock of knowledge, and it becomes a source of ever uh, uh, expanding collection of blueprints that make us better at what we do. And he ties that theory, and in extensions by Chad Jones, um, to uh, the, uh, the size of the R&D labor force. So that's going to be a key determinant of economic growth. As we've seen, immigrants are a crucial source of that supply. So what do we know empirically about that relationship? Well, here, uh, uh, research is really just beginning to tell us about what high-skilled immigration means for our innovative capacity. So I want to cite uh, three, uh, three recent findings. One is work by uh, uh, Jennifer Hunt and, um, and a co-author who looked over uh, across U.S. states over a 50-year period and, and asked, as states get a larger supply of, of immigrants with a college education in their labor force, what happens to innovative activity in those states measured by the patent rate, so patents per capita? And what she finds is a very strong positive relationship. States that succeed in attracting more college-educated immigrants patent more. We see the same thing at the company level. So uh, some very uh, creative work by Bill Kerr and Bill Lincoln, both at Harvard Business School, uh, look at the, the changes in the supply of H-1B visas, so these short-term visas that, that help bring in skilled workers to the U.S. economy, and, and ask, what does that do for the innovative capacity of the companies that tend to hire these workers, the Googles and the IBMs and the Microsofts um, and the GEs? And what do they find? Well, as the supply of H-1B visas has ebbed and flowed, given following the vicissitudes of Congress, um, what have we seen? We've seen changes in, in productive capacity in the number of patents produced that follow those cycles very, very closely. So more high-skilled immigrants, again, more uh, uh, patenting. And then looking at uh, productive capacity in the university world, okay, so our measures of productive capacity are how many uh, research papers do you produce? How many uh, citations do those papers gather? And how many patents do your faculty produce? By any of those counts, having a higher share of foreign students among your PhD students is associated with, uh, with higher uh, uh, productivity. So in this count, high-skilled immigration has the potential, at least, to uh, playing an important role for our capacity to, uh, to generate sustained productivity growth. 